Hi, I'm Dick Clough. I'm a co-founder of NOCA and chairman of this month's One Industry Forum Series. So we're talking this month about advice. And uh, my sidekick, Lisa Ryan, and I are out uh, touring Cleveland today talking to marketing and industry leaders about advice that has had an impact on their life, their career, and their business. And the first six of these interviews follows right now. My name is uh, Frank Bird, and I am the publisher of Inside Business, Cleveland Magazine, Pulse Magazine, and Livewell. Hey, the best advice that I ever got was, uh, no matter where you go, you take yourself with you. And it really made me realize that if um, I wanted to have the career that I, and the expectations that I had to have a career, were really relying upon myself. Uh, in all actuality, the grass may seem greener on the other side, but it's truly not. And, um, you know, you can make the most of the situation that you have by doing the best that you can where you are. So the reality of it is, is the attitude that you bring to the office every day, I think really dictates, you know, the success that you're going to have or not have. You really can't blame anybody else for where you are in life other than yourself. Because the only person that can really put boundaries on you is you. And uh, that advice that I got early on, I think, uh, you know, really helped me figure out what I wanted to do and where I wanted to do it. Hi, I'm Jim Chabazinski. I'm president of NOCA, and I'm here with Tori Buck, and Tori and I go back a long way. We were went to high school together, we were uh, teammates, roommates, fraternity brothers in college, and we've been friends all our lives, and now we're starting a business together. And we're going to share a couple pieces of advice that we've gotten over the years. And Tori, go for it. Um, one of the pieces of advice that I always got, because you get involved with things playing football is it's not the size of the man in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the man. Um, you used to do this because you're playing up against some monster who's 40 pounds heavier than you are and it's sometimes better than playing against some guy who's 40 pounds lighter and uh, is kind of a real aggressive guy. Uh, the other advice we're going to have is something we got from our college football coach and he said, you know, you can win games with good athletes win championships you need good people and that's a very important lesson for business you have to surround yourself with good people all the time people that you work with people uh, suppliers that you work with you really need good people if you want to succeed and that's our advice and that's as much as you get from us hi I'm Lisa Ryan I am chief appreciation strategist at Gratigy and the words of advice that I was given a long time ago by one of my virtual mentors Zig Ziglar is that you can have anything in life that you want as long as you help enough other people get what they want. Also come to my own conclusion that you can also get anything in life that you want as long as you're grateful for the things that you already have. Hi, I'm Phil Stella with Effective Training and Communication. The best advice I ever give people I learned a long time ago from Dr. Tony Alessandra, and that's the platinum rule. And I share this all the time in my presentations and training workshops and with my coaching clients. Far too many people go around life driven by the golden rule. Do unto others as you want others to do unto you. It's a nice concept. It just doesn't work. And Alessandra preaches the platinum rule. Simply stated, it's don't do unto others the way you want them to do to you. Do unto others the way they want you to do to them. 180 degree different, but very significant. I tell my coaching candidates and clients, it's 10 times harder than the golden rule because you can't do it on autopilot. You have to individualize it, but it's 100 times better. So do the math. Hi everybody, I'm Andy Bacher with a company called Tricor in Cleveland, Ohio. We uh, manufacture point of purchase displays. Uh, I got two pieces of advice. Uh, one is that always basically do the next right thing, and I found that that helps through anything I'm doing in life, either with partners, with customers, with employees. As long as I'm doing the next right thing, the next right thing usually happens. The other one I have, a friend of mine told me a long time ago, 
uh, he said to me, I was, I was selling him some things in a, uh, it was in the display business and he was in the audio industry, in the video business. And I had a huge proposal to him and I gave him the price and the guy looked me square in the eyes and he goes, you know Andy, he says, pigs get fat and hogs get slaughtered. You want to take another look at that price? And I, I ne never heard that statement like that before and I thought about it and I, and I went back and redid the price and came back to him. Naturally we got the business and was very successful and did a lot of business in the video business over our lives. So remember that one, pigs get fat, hogs get slaughtered.